I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on every origin ship and we're starting right now. Thank you so much to all the supporters that make this channel possible. I am Subliminal and this is the Star Citizen's Guide to the Galaxy. The 2951 Intergalactic Aerospace Expo is here and day six we're showcasing origin jump works. This is unlike my usual content. Today I'll be giving you my thoughts and opinions on every ship here on display rather than any detailed stats. If you'd like to get my thoughts on the entire 2950 IAE, check out the playlist in the info card above. Lastly, if you want to win an Aegis Redeemer and a pair of Predator joystick mounts, stay tuned to the end to find out more. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's take a look and see what we have today on display for Origin. Our first ship looks like the 125 a the combat variant of the 100i it doesn't have extra firepower and that's the problem for me i honestly guys i hate the 100 series because of the price range it's just not worth it it's so cool looking and i think it makes a great starter ship but the price is just too much you can get a regular 300i i think for the same price as this but it, it, it is a cool ship. Uh, I wish they'd lower the price if that's even a thing that they are capable of doing. This fuel scoop technology in this is dope. You don't even have to refuel this ship. It's got a bed to log out in. You got access to components in here. It's got a really cool cockpit. Great view. But it's just the, the price. I mean, you kind of, you do have to fac factor that in. I mean, nobody's gonna buy a starter ship without UVC, right? Unless you're using this for like a snub or something like that. This does make a cool snub if it fits in your ship. But I, I just can't recommend it as a starter package. Titan is really good. 300i is better than, than that. This is the 135C, this is the cargo variant again. I mean, just, it's not enough. Too much money, same deal. You get like three or four SCU down here below and then i believe that you get the there's like some interior scu too actually in all of them i didn't show you that in the last one unless the 325 or the 135a doesn't have that cargo space but yeah there's cargo space down here too oh my flashlight works on this so yeah two two scu of cargo space there so it's got a total of six get a 315p get a 315p have double the double the cargo space yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, I can't recommend this the ship. And then finally, we got the 100i. Same, same stuff. I don't have anything else to say. It's a cool ship, but it's just not priced well for any for any for anybody to recommend to buy it. So next under here we have the 600i. I wonder which one it is. It's the Touring. Wow. Okay, really? The worst one? No. <laughs> Uh, so this is the touring variant. Uh, th the only use for the 600i in game that I can think of really right now is is as a combat ship, and it's actually like one of the more deadly ships in the game. It's gonna have trouble with smaller targets, of course, but it's got three size fives on. It. You aim this uh, towards some some of the larger targets, and you're gonna eat up VHRT missions and ERTs. You can take out hammerheads with this with relative ease. It's got tons of missiles. This is the touring variant, so the inside is is weird. Let's actually take a take a look at it. So you'll notice that this is totally different. So this is basically a luxury people carrier. It's got all types of, I don't know if you want to call them pads or rooms with amenities for the people that you towed around. So. That's what this is for, rather than this pod being exploration. But I'm sure a lot of you guys probably haven't seen this because this is a pretty unpopular, un unpopular variant of this ship. This is pretty cool. It's got a glass floor at the bottom. That's that's pretty dope. It's cool and everything. It's just that there's won't be gameplay for this for a while. And um, I want to um, say in, in chat, if, if you, I want you to go in the comments below if this gives you anxiety. What I'm doing right now. Tell me in the comments below if this gives you anxiety. You, you veterans know what I'm talking about. 
Oh, and this is also pretty cool too. There's a hidden bathroom in here. I missed it in my buyer's guide back in the day. Anyway, all right, let's get out of the ship. All right, and I, I mean, I, I don't really have much to say about this. This is the 890 jump. It's huge. It's got a swimming pool. It's got a hangar. It's got a cargo hold. It's, it's dope. If you've ever done the 890 jump FPS mission, probably seen the inside of it or if you're a whale you don't need me to tour this ain't nobody got time for that all right looks like we got a 300 showcase here 300 series are much better ships i think i still recommend the titan over it at this point but it's not bad if you, if you just like the looks and you want to buy for that it's that's completely fine the ship has honestly lots of amenities so it's, a, it's a, a good starter ship in that aspect of it it's got size three weapon hard points all around three of them my only issue with it in combat is the durability it's got a moon roof they had to log out in got amenities in there you can get a coffee machine from the pledge store installed you got a space shitter it's a cool ship you can customize it on the website too can't wait for them to add that to more ships Lots, so lots of amenities. It's got a, a decent amount of cargo space. I want to say eight, just like the Titan. Except you just don't have the cargo hold. You have this, like... It's really hard to hit the buttons on these things when they want you to rent it. They move up. So this is the front cargo bay. It's got six SCU. And then there's another cargo thing in there. Or maybe that's only in the 315P? Love the HDMI port at the back. Love it. But yeah, anyway, it's fragile. The wings are fragile for combat, but if you're new to the verse, you probably shouldn't be getting into too much like PvP combat anyway. So this still is a good, a good ship. I really love the design. Like, really do. Like, this is so dope. It's cool. Next up, we have the 315P. This is a cool variant. So it's missing the hard point on the nose for a weapon, but it does have a tractor beam, a tractor cannon, whatever you want to call it. And it does have this same SCU space here, but it does also have the cargo space back there too, which totals to be 12 SCU. It can be uh, converted to a stealth ship, and I recommend it if smuggling is viable for this amount of SCU. For people maybe new in the verse, you can smuggle drugs, it's cool. Uh, and yeah, same interior as the, the 300, just basically missing a weapon. Added a tractor beam that's not functional right now, but has extra cargo space. Like I like this actually better than the rest because it, it has that purpose of being a stealth smuggling ship. Next up we have the 400i. If you haven't seen my 400i first look, you should check it out. This ship is a disappointment. Um, how do I continue without dropping too many curse words? Uh, so the this is a, a flying JPEG now because People in the community told CIG that this ship wasn't, it's too, too fancy to house a Grey Cat Rock. So they had added a Grey Cat Rock in one patch, or added the, added the ability, like lowered the ramp and raised the landing gear so a Grey Cat Rock could fit. But the community said, nah, nobody who owns a 400i is gonna rock mine. So since we have idiots, we don't, uh, can't do anything with this ship except fly around. So we get exploration in the verse. So, really cool ship though. I like, I like it. I like it. I can't wait for exploration to come in to see what it can do. I can't wait for the devs to try and get the rock in there in some way, shape, or form, so people can actually use it to make funds in the verse. But until then, flying JPEG. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed out one important part. The, the landing gear was the higher landing gear made the ship unstable while landed. Welcome to the club. The Connie fell on its nose for years. The Crusader Hercules Starlifters are still falling on their nose when they land. Welcome to the club. All right, next up, we got the 350R. 350R is the racing variant. Racing variant of the ship. And I don't recommend it as a racing vehicle. It's not very nimble. It's fast in a forward direction, but that's really it 
So, it's got the size 3 weapon hard points, a slightly different interior because it has to make room for the bigger engine. You got these cool fuel scoops there. That's really nice. But the, the interior is a little bit different. It does have a bed to log out in, but it doesn't have the amenities. Still has the sunroof, of course, though. They all have that. Really nice. But I can't recommend this as a racing ship. The M50 is, is going to be much better because it's purpose built for it. It's, it's not just kind of almost an afterthought, I guess. Here's the 325A. I like the 325A, obviously, because it has the size 4 hard point on the nose and two size 3. So it's got the same firepower as the Titan. The same interior as the rest of the 300 series. But again, the fragility is is too low to make it a viable combat ship at this point for in-game at least it might make a good starter combat ship does a lot of dps it's fast but the fragility it loses wings and it causes problems i think if i think if you lose the wings you lose the hard points too so yeah it's a it's a good ship though like i like it it's got a special place in my heart all right next up we have the better racing ship made by origin the purpose-built Origin M50. It's a cool ship. Are we? Did we get that rework on the engines or whatever yet on this? I guess not, huh? What, what's what's going on with that? But yeah, so this is a, I mean it's a racing ship. It's fast in all the directions. Great ship if you like low flying and stuff or, or or racing in Arena Commander. It's a good good racing ship. I mean not really anything to, to any racing to really do in the verse unless you you make your own content. But, but yeah, I mean, it's a good ship. It'll have a purpose soon. Next up over here, we have the 85X. Now, the 85X is actually the snub for... That'd be cool if this was spinning. Why don't they have spinning displays? Are you serious? I'm just now realizing... Sorry, okay. So, this is the 85X. It is the 890 Jumps snub. It's a two-seater, too. It's really cool. It's the only ship that that's that's a, that I've seen that that's a two-seater, where your co-pilot or partner, whatever you want to call it, just sits in the, the, the next seat there to your right. It's like sitting in a car. I think the I don't know the view in this might not be all that great. This dashboard seems kind of huge. The top view though, you can look up and it's nice, man. If you just want to cruise around the verse, you know, just just chilling, cruising, sightseeing. It's a cool ship. I'd buy it in game or something, but yeah, it's not a snub fighter, you know. You got an 890 jump, you, you hire security. You know, you know, you know what I mean. You don't need to be putting your, yourself in this. But if you want to take the lady out for a nice evening evening drive? Yeah, it's a good. One. What kind of guns does it have? I think it's got two size twos. It may be smaller than that. I mean, I'm sorry. I was gonna say two size threes, but I think they might actually be size twos. It's not designed for combat. If you get into, if you see any any sign of combat with that ship, you should just leave. It's not designed for that. I, it shouldn't have guns. Change my mind. Next up, we have in the hollow hall. Oh, we got the G12 Rovers. That looks like the AA variant, G12A, I guess. Why did they do this? There's multiple variants of this ship, and they put a hollow of the same one. Like, give us a hollow of a different variant. I don't understand. But yeah, so this is this, the G12. Again, you know you know how I feel about land vehicles. They're such a waste of money. I own one of these so that I can make content, and that's 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 it. Once, once I get done making that content when this actually releases, then it's over. Uh, I think according to this, this would this even fit in the 400i? This hollow, if it looks bigger than what the ship could be if it's supposed to fit in the 400i. I, I don't know, man. I think Top Happy might have misspoke on that. This month's ship giveaway is the Age of Redeemer and a pair of Predator joystick mounts. There are 10 ways to enter, each giving you more points and a greater chance to win. To enter, just visit subliminal.gg slash giveaway. Pro tip, the Redeem Twitch channel point rewards can be done once per live stream. If you enjoy my channel, there are so many ways to support it, ranging from free options like Prime Gaming subscriptions and sending out for UBC in the verse, sub club subscriptions, merch, 
to more generous forms of support. Head over to subliminal.gg to learn how. Your support in all forms makes this channel possible. Even your viewership, liking, and subscribing goes a long way. To continue watching, here's a video I think you may like. Here's a video YouTube thinks you may like. And until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.